So after thinking it over, uh, I'm definitely okay with spending a little bit of Diplo considering the fact how far ahead of time we are on our Diplo points. We are also going to take all of Wallachia, all of Constantinople, of course, and then conquer the Straits. We're going to build up a bunch of forts over here that will completely cripple the Ottomans. They will not be able, they will no longer be able to uh, reinforce their armies. I think it's going to be the ideal piece. I hope you guys are all enjoying the campaign up to this point. And if you are, let me know by leaving a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as well. But uh, yes, leave a comment below and let me know how your day is going, Lance, because I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And I like to hear about your days. So right now, we just need to get these guys grouped up over here. They are sitting here rotting 84,000 men on a 41 day siege tick. So that's pretty good. I think that those guys are finished up there, so we can do that. Very good. I will take the prestige. It's fine. We've won that fort over here. These guys will force march down and have get grouped up with these guys. Very good. Very good. Free stab. Yes, please. We are maxed out on Diplo. So if we're going to do anything, we should dev a little bit. It's like mostly just uh, grain provinces. That's fine. Okay, very good. Have these guys force march up. Have these guys join in. I would love to steamroll through some more of their men. They have... We just basically need to make sure that we kill off as many of their... As much of their manpower as humanly possible. Because what that will do is that will... Um, shorten the amount of time that they're able to stay in the war. It will also force them to use their professionalism. So they've used 5% and they have 5% left. They had 10 at the beginning of the war. And court and country happened. Unfortunate. Um, it's not the end of the world. All we have to do is deal with this uh, a few events here and we'll be able to get it's going to cut absolutism right now so we actually won't be able Ooh, we still can do it that's awesome um so yeah it's going to hurt our absolutism for a minute and then at the end of it we'll get plus 20 which will actually allow us to use a free few more of these estate privileges so it's not the end of the world um i will cut that one i think um it hurts the cossacks because we won't be able to um we will not be able to whatchamacallit use cav anymore which it's fine i don't i don't i'm not particularly attached to cav so these guys over here are just going to carpet siege down everything over here these guys will carpet siege down everything over here obviously there's some more forts for us to siege down we're going to need to piece out tuna separately we took out a loan for some reason i don't know why i'm losing money randomly now What? Why am I losing? Oh, right. Because uh, court and country, I believe it's like 20% tax and goods. Oh, good. 20% goods produced. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty painful. So we just have to wait 10 years. That's all. Uh, I'm not going to lose army tradition. You can kiss my butt. So in order to have the positive outcome, I think you just need more than 60 um, absolutism by the time it's all said and done. I might be wrong there. I think it's 60. If I am wrong, Lord help me. All right. These guys over here. Let's have you guys head down there. Let's go with you. And have you guys reinforce. Sure, I don't care. Tell my air to start working. Am I overextended? Oh my gosh, I'm still overextended. I didn't know that. Oh, the absolutism dropped. That's unfortunate. Um. So anyways, for mana, let's go with admin mana. Look at that. Nice little event box window there. Um... I would rather not do that. So lose a little bit of legitimacy. So you can see our absolutism is going down. But all we need to do is come in here and just like harsh treat a little bit. And if we really wanted to, we could switch over. And, and matter of fact, I'm going to actually switch over to this. That will help out with uh, rebels. Our commandant is dad. So that's unfortunate. Go with uh, morale guy. Those guys are in the highlands. Uh, probably not ideal. Catch these guys over here in the drylands though. That is a wipe. Yes, indeed. It is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They now have... They still have five professionalism. So, not ideal. Get half you guys over here and half you guys over... Nope, I'm not doing that. Let's get a general on you and have the, them head up this way and start looking for a fight. These guys are over here. And let's get the rest of them over there. Okay. So, those guys... That should be a clap. Yes, it is. Very good. We need to catch this 40 stack out. That's the last of his men. This is his entire army right here. I am actually okay with taking a fight into the mountains. That is his entire army. 
Very good. Let's come on up here. Oh no, they're sieging down some provinces over here. You can't do that. No. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? And uh, yeah, so Tunis is the only reason that they still have any uh, war exhaustion or war like enthusiasm. So as soon as uh, Tunis pieces out, they will be ready to peace out. So we're just gonna sit here and wait. Speed five, basically. Don't need to be forced marching everybody around though. Yeah, these annoying. That's this. That's the most annoying part about court and country is you're just gonna get a bunch of these events. Issue is, is yeah, we're losing like our demands that we're able to do here. But all you can all you can do is your your max stays the same. So you just since you have a little bit of unrest, you just go in and you just continually harsh treat everybody. And only 17 mana, 38 mana, and just like that, we're back up to 73. So rather than take both sides of the straight, I want both sides of the straight at least on one of them because that way I'll be able to cross. And I think I want like Gallipoli. And then we still want to make sure we're giving up as much of their land as possible. This is fine. We'll, we'll take the best piece that we're able to get given our absolutism. Looks like we can get quite a bit more. So we still likely will shoot for that. Independence from Moravia. So hopefully we can get over there and get those guys out ASAP. But uh, yes, this is this war is all but over at this point. Just need to wait for Tunis to drop the low enthusiasm so we can piece them out separately. And as soon as that happens, we will be able to um, wrap this war up. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to be hurting economically for a while. That's okay. Go. You know, I'm okay with this. Five absolutism is good. And, uh, oh, they automatically take it. That's unfortunate that they automatically take the province. Let's have these guys grouped up over here with a general. If we can wipe out that Tunisian army, we will be able to... We need to march up here. We should be able to peace out quite soon. Here. Now, hopefully those rebels don't win that fort. Oh, nice. My my uh, vassal took care of that. So we just need to kill off these smaller stacks over here. Um, Really, a conflagration. Restore the castle first and spend as little as we can restoring the rest of the city or we lose some money. And, uh, I don't care about any of this, man. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, but I don't, I've never seen that event. So, but, uh, yeah, get over there, wipe out the Tunisian army. Next month, they will be looking for peace, which is good for us. There you go. Peace out Tunis, which automatically puts us up to 99 war score. And just like that, and we got a little bit of absolutism. We're not going to be able to give him his core back, but that's okay. That's a real good peace deal. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Let's yoink that. Bulgaria has some cores. Oh, they've lost all the rest of their cores. So, mm, they're of March, so we can't even integrate them anyways. That's fine. All right. Very good. And those our rebels will leave now. So we can yoink that, and now we core all. And uh, just like that, we're good. So let's get you guys over here. Have these guys head up like over here to deal with these rebels, of course. And uh, I'm gonna do some research. I think it's 60, it might be 70. Let me see exactly what I need to do to make sure that I get the positive outcome for uh, or for this uh, this event here, this court and country. All right, so I was actually splitting it. It's 65. As long as we have 65 absolutism when the 10 years timer runs out and we have no more rebel controlled provinces, we're good. So that's fine with me. Um, I think in the meantime, it's it would be good for us to, to be honest with you, we have a lot of forts that we can just get rid of. So like there's a lot of forts over here that we can totally just get rid of. As long as people don't get to the interior of our land, I'm not really too worried about having forts. So couple of them are a bit redundant. As long as we have them on the borders protecting, 
and uh, I don't let any of them through. We're good. I know uh, I'm a big fan of the what should we call it the the stuff the uh, the juice the army tradition you get from forts, but I'd also rather just not have to deal with any of that. So let's get that over there. Very good. Those guys are loyal. Are they converting? So they are converting. Good. Very good. Continue to core and convert everything up. And uh, do we have any of these guys that need converted? Right. We should also switch these guys off of edicts. Do we have any other edicts on? We have none. Very good. Do we have any much Paul tends to consecrate? Here you go. There's a few more over here that we cannot, but take a look at our cultures. Um, no cultures really to convert or to accept rather. And that's fine. So let's handle this here. Let's have these guys handle this and then these guys handle that. Yes, very good. Yes, yes. Now we'll handle our economy quite well. As long as I'm not taking out too many loans, I don't really care. We'll be able to pay that all off in, in short order. Yeah, this province has quite a bit of... Um, dev so that's our old capital in moscow so very good one of our generals is dad sadly so i think it's a good time as any to get rid of the cav that's in our armies as well so let's take a look at what our combat width is it is 34 so what we need to do here is we need to say i want a template that is 34 and uh you guessed it 34 and I want all of my armies to conform to this template now. Now we can't have them unless they are part of a um, part of a uh, what you call it in a core state, core province, not core state. So like these guys here, have them conform to that template. Anything that gets detached, get rid of them. And then we'll also have them go back over there, and then we'll have them split over there. This is good. Let's have you guys head over to Beijing. These guys can just get rid of the Cav. Get rid of the Cav. The Cav are also hurting our economy quite a lot there. Yeah, look at that. Obviously, we're going to switch it from using the Cav into using... Um, whatchamacallit? Um, cannons, but, you know, it's fine. So let's have you guys grouped up down here. Again, do the same thing. Get rid of the cav. And we'll still split them. And get them back to suppressing rebels. There you go. Disputed succession in some provinces, some places I don't care about. Spain has a disputed succession. They're my rival, though. So, not going to happen there. Let's have you guys conform to that template. Get rid of you. And that's good. Let's see? We're losing. We've, we've bought down or got rid of a bunch of units, but now we're just going to use them to uh, to uh, get more. So as soon as the event goes away, our maximum absolutism will go up to 91, which is pretty good. It actually could be higher because of our low legitimacy. Um, you know what? I'm just going to buy it up. No reason not to. As long as we can still take mill tech right on time, I'm uh, I'm okay with that. So these guys are getting up some of those. As soon as we're done with these cores over here, culture conversion costs or not, I don't care. I don't want the national unrest, which is annoying. So these guys will be loyal here in just a moment. Strong duchies I'd like to keep. But um, we'll see. So our truce with Ming over. Our truce with Ming is over. So... Get these guys over here, conform them to the template, and then get to war with Ming. I don't care about most of these rebels as long as they're not, um, you know, hugely irritating to me. Truce with Korea is over. Uh, let's get these guys over to the capital so they're not taking any attrition over there. Sargrad, very good. And as soon as we're done coring this stuff, Looks like we are already done coring it. Nope, just kidding. Oh, those are rebels I was looking at. 
All right. Have you guys suppress up here. Have these guys suppress over here. Actually, so here... Right, I remember somebody said that they use uh, autonomous rebel suppression to handle... Or, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Carpet siege button to handle... Handle uh, rebels, but that actually doesn't handle the actual rebellions. It just handles the occupations. So, it's not exactly what I'm looking for from that mechanic, but that's fine regardless. There we go. Everything is looking good. Orthodox is obviously the biggest name as far as font goes so obviously it's the strongest so are these guys okay we're converting most of it that's awesome i was gonna say hopefully it's not in the trade company quite yet so we're not gonna be able well, maybe we could actually this is orthodox orthodox and confucian so nippon where is nippon yep it's gonna be a minute before we're gonna be able to get any of those but uh, these provinces we can upgrade some of them so we will my economy is very obviously not where it needs to be, but it's okay. So our stacks are going to be 68. Correct? Yep, 68. Rebel uprising in Korea. Fine, bring it on. We will put them down. Let's actually convert Pyongyang. Um, is it going to make progress here? I should read that. 12 months, not bad. I mean, it's a little long, but it's not a big deal. Very good. Nope, not you. Get a general. Six siege pips, not bad. We will... Uh, I'll actually do a reconquest war for this one. Because that's all I really plan to do with that war. Greece cores, fine, I don't care. Finish up our cores over there. That will help out with our unrest a bit. There we go. I'm gonna max out on Diplo, so we should probably do a little more dev. No reason not to. I got a comment that said, take a shot every time Chewie says, no reason not to. It's like, well, tell me if there's a reason not to. I'll wait. Look at these siege. Not bad. We should probably get our spy network up with these guys, and we should probably also have at least one of these guys working on uh, subject countries, and then one working on outrage countries. All right, let's have you guys head over and siege down Xi'an, or however that province is pronounced. Okay, have you guys head over here. We just basically need to um, siege down as much of them as possible. Should be pretty straightforward. Siege down is, I think that's Wuhan, actually. Significant currently in uh, today's news cycle. Not sure how uh, significant it would have been back then, but interesting nonetheless. Absolutism. I would really rather not fight rebels, so I'll just do whatever the option is to not fight them. As long as I still have my... Um... There we go. Yes. Their armies are just like absolute paper. So... So I recall this person actually 75 days some long freaking traveling for you Build a couple of those Oh, yeah, sounds good Kill off their armies of course we don't need to be force marching though Um, Sure, I can give the burgers a little bit of clay. It's fine. I mean look at that every time we dev we gain a little bit more So we're good with that, um, this is almost over. I guarantee you it's almost over. I didn't actually look. Generally, it's it's good form to keep track of when it started. Uh, those guys attacked me and just stack wiped themselves, so that's pretty easy. Let's get over here. Get you guys off that fort. Have I sieged down ooh, whatever this is? Fuzhou? And uh, let's see here. Return cores to Shun. Return cores to Wu. And then I would also like to take a couple of provinces. It's going to cost me some Diplo. It's fine. I don't care. Basically, you guessed it. I want to take some forts. She also has a few cores over here. Uh, not that many, actually. 
Who's this? Chu? This one's a big one as well. Shu is a big one. So that's Shun. And this one down here is Shu. So what about taking something like these two down there? Cannot make it a core. Right. Okay, we'll see about that. It should be fine, though. I will take uh, this province down here. That's fine. Not for myself. Well, maybe for myself. I'll probably give it to Wu. I just need to make sure that I maintain a border with them so I can get a um, holy war off on them. Though, imperialism is coming in just about 20 years, so not too bad. Okay, very good. And uh, now we just need to come down, come down here and continue to get as much war score from uh, killing them off as possible. Sargrad, that's fine, actually. It's annoying that they instantly win it, considering the fact that I have an army, like, garrison there, but whatever. Don't make no sense. Those guys are heading over to... Kuayan? Should be a stack wipe. There we go. They have 13,000 men left, so time to Carpet Siege and get as much war score as possible. As long as I have the war goal, we're ticking. We're good. Do that to Finland. Get you guys down here and Carpet Siege as much of their land as possible. Won the Siege of Sargrad. Okay. Easy enough. They actually have some mandate. Must have got some from an event, I assume. Kind of funny. I'm just waiting to take this tech. There's no reason to take it ahead of time like this. If you're not going to get in innovativeness for it, it's never really worth taking it ahead of time. Okay, get you guys out of there. We're almost done converting all of our provinces. That is cool. I like that. Give them one more monthly tick. And just keeping an eye on my absolutism, making sure that it is sufficient to give us the positive outcome for court and country when it resolves. Uh, 13,000 men. Very good. 74% war score. I'm going to also take this province here. And then maybe like this state here. Or that province there. That's fine with me. A lot of Diplo, but it's not really an issue because we're not short on Diplo. There we go. So Pegu is over here in the war. I don't really care, but I might not be able to get 100% until I get them out of the war. We'll see. Truce with Oirod is over, so maybe we'll head over there and start working on them soon as well. Let you guys head over there. It's our general. If you don't know, whenever you're doing the V to D select trick, uh, the last one is always going to be the one with your general, if you have a general. So that's quite useful, in my opinion. All right. So maybe instead of taking all of that, we'll take like that province there. So they don't have any cores over here. So most of this is just desert provinces, right? Is that a fort, though? It is a fort. Mm. Let's take like the fort. Yeah, that's fine. Cut them up into pieces. And then uh, give whatever other land we can to our vassals. Yeah, this is fine. There we go. Obviously, any of the land that I took that I intend to give to my vassals, I will. I'll also pay off their debts. That will allow me to enforce religion on them. Cool trick for you. If you're... Uh, Giving them a bunch of land. You can then enforce religion on them and they will be loyal to you. So there you go. We got a Orthodox Wu and an Orthodox Shun. Very cool, right? So let's take a look at their missions because I haven't. Diplo, Offensive, Espionage, Economic, Quality. These guys took uh, Quantity. So Admin, Humanist. These guys are a really good vassal. Okay. Humanist is great because it will help with unrest. Quantity means they'll have a bigger army. Economic, Defensive admin so they'll be able to core up stuff cheaper very cool all right so manpower recovery 
infantry combat ability, diplo rep, national manpower. So I think I'm actually going to march Wu as well. So let's do that. Let's uh, pull our armies back together here. Actually, have you all go to Beijing. I don't have any cores to worry about. We also have furnaces coming, which is very cool. We can embrace the uh, institution whenever we want to. I will gladly take army tradition. It's a big, strong army for me. And whenever we're done with our court conversions, we'll be able to convert for our vassals who are now, you know, the correct faith, which is awesome, right? Um, speaking of what's going on in Nippon here. Um, okay, yeah, we're probably not going to be able to. We need to save up our money, so I'm not going to do any um, investments quite right now. So they don't have any unrest because that's all their cores. They have a little bit over here. And uh, it's because I conquered land that is not their culture, their accepted culture or religion. So understandable. Have a nice day, sir. The early tick, we will take this tech here. Hope you guys are enjoying the campaign up to this point. And if you are, I would ask that you would show your support by leaving a like on the video. It really does help me out a lot more than you know. I'm maxed out on admin. Big whoop. Don't care. But uh, yeah, all the help is super appreciated. It uh, really does allow me to continue to do what I do. So if you have it within your means, you would like to support on Patreon. Link is in the description below for all that stuff. Uh, join my subreddit. Check my Discord out. Check me out on Twitter. Anything like that, all linked in the description below. That's all I got for you for today, though. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.